Good morning, friends. Still in Quartzsite, Arizona, and today it is cold. Our friend Ron today, I saw him and he said, uh, boy, it's kind of chilly today. He's from Iowa. And I told him that by northern standards, it's chilly. By my Mexican standards, after 18 years, uh, the blood gets a little thin or thick. I don't know which way that works, but uh, your evaluation of the temperature does change. And by my Mexican standards, it's not chilly. It's bad wording cold. <laughs> it's uh, 1030 in the morning and it's 41 degrees and the wind is blowing. It chills you to the bone out there. Uh, What's been going on in the neighborhood? Well, the big thing that's going on here in the last couple of days is that Carolyn got a new trailer. So I'm going to show you the arrival of it. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to be your own Santa Claus, and Carolyn has uh, gotten herself a very nice Christmas present. I think she's going to be real happy with it. And because it's uh, cold weather, I am inspired to make chicken noodle soup, and I make homemade uh, noodles. So I think that's what the video is about today. If you want to know about chicken noodle soup, stay tuned. And if you don't give a rip about chicken noodle soup, stay tuned anyway. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Yes, yeah, that's, I'm so happy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Here comes. Caravan Carolyn's new trailer being delivered and guess who's out in the road can't wait to see it <laughs> I like this Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. 415. Today we are making chicken noodle soup. The chicken is thawing out in the microwave and the Homemade noodles are about to get flattened and cut. So here we are going to smash out. Maybe I'll only do half of it because my cutting board is kind of small today. We're doing a bunch of noodles. And I'm running out of flour to keep it all from sticking to the rolling pin. I think I got enough. Need more flour. Need more flour, but gotta go to the store for more flour. So we're gonna roll that out. You know what? I think it's gonna work better if I just do it on there instead of trying to do it on top of. cutting board. I'll just do it right on that part of the table. Now, if that doesn't work, we'll move to the main table. Uh -oh. This will keep it from sliding around. Move. Muy bien. Mucho mejor. Yes, it is. It's working good. Sounds like I need a little WD-40 on my rolling pin. When they're fresh, I like to make them a little thinner because they cook. Excuse me, they dry out faster. I use a pizza cutter, but I don't do that on my countertop, so I'm going to put it back here on the cutting board to roll the noodles, or to cut the noodles. And the first one is always a little jagged, but then the rest of them get really nice and even and straight. 
And that's how I do it. A little flour, an egg, a pinch of salt, a little butter or oil, just to make it come out about the right color with the egg yolk. And that's all there is to it. What you wind up with is noodles like that. Then you got to let them dry. So I'm going to let them dry over here. And when you cook them, you have to remember that uh, egg noodles that are fresh cook a lot faster than dried pasta. So I've got another cutting board here. And again, I'm going to roll this out on the table, but I'm not going to, or on the counter, but I'm not going to cut it on the counter. We have these counters that come in and out of the sink. I have a black mark. I got flour in here. I can't tip it up. I've got a black magic marker mark on the other side so that I never cut on the good side. And I can turn it over and I have cut on the other side. But the public side here never gets cut on. Uh, the celery, the carrots, the onions, and the chicken broth, the pepper is that's black pepper, not peppers, are starting to boil over here. And roll this out. Plenty of flour on the table. Oops, not plenty of flour on the table, stuck to the rolling pin. At home, I uh, use a sock on the rolling pin that gets thrown in the laundry after I get done. But I don't have a sock here in the RV. So, that's what we get right there. And once again, on to the cutting board to cut the noodles. These are going to be very long if I cut them that way. Um, that's okay. We like long noodles. And there we go, noodles. Now yeah, I'll move the camera, that'll be easier than dumping the noodles on the floor. There, all cut up and ready to dry for a little while. I like to dry them for, oh, at least 30 minutes before I cook them and it'll be a lot longer because I still have to I pre-cook the chicken cubes before I put them in there that's carrots celery onions a little black pepper a little basil I didn't put any in there should I put some basil in there yes uh, I don't know about that that always a makes little it, bit. it always, always makes it taste like poultry seasoning which I'm not crazy about So now I'm dicing up some chicken breast and I will uh, pre-cook that before I put it in the soup because I like to season it with some garlic and sesame oil. Um, that's just how I roll. So yeah, I'm cubing it. And the olive oil and the sesame oil is sizzling. I don't know if the sesame oil makes it taste the way I like it to taste, or if it just smells good while it's cooking, but we like sesame oil. And I very rarely cook 
chicken breast without putting a little garlic powder on it. We've decided that garlic is no longer a condiment in our house. It's a vegetable. And I also am quite fond of ginger. A little ginger on the chicken, or a lot. Consistency of that is going to give it a nice... And Lynn is watching Beach Cricket make lentil right. soup, okay. which is the inspiration for us making soup on this cold day in Quartzsite. Okay. Homemade vegan lentil soup. Way to go, Beach Cricket. Lentils. And the homemade noodles are drying nicely. You can see that. I'd, oh, yeah. Oh, I'd yeah. Flip them all up. You'd flip them? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll flip them. Let's see how that goes. Flip. Oh, yeah. Flip. Flip. What, are you going to point out I missed one? That's for you. Time to put the chicken into the soup. And put the fire on on this side. And turn that one off. And it appears to me that in order to soak up the noodles, we're going to need a little more broth. It looks like I'm going to need some more broth, and I ran out of um, uh, vet, uh, chicken broth, so I'm just going to use some of this vegetable broth. And, because I've tasted it, and it tastes really good, but, uh-oh, that's already open. Like somebody's poked their finger in there. I am not going to put anything in my mouth that comes from a container that's been opened at a store and is still full. I'm dumping this down the drain. I would. I'm not eating. No, that's scary. So the next best thing for more liquid to for the noodles to soak up is water. And... Um, it tasted so good, I didn't want to put just water in there, but let me taste it. It's still very, very good, but the other alternative is chicken bouillon, caldo de pollo in Mexico. So I'll just throw one of those in there and... Hope it doesn't make it too soft. Well, that's why I don't like using it, because... Usually yeah. the caldo de pollo or the caldo de rice is m mucho sal. So before you put in the noodles, you have to have a roll, rolling boil, which is a lot easier with a lid. And here we go with the noodles. Just kind of sprinkle them in there so they don't stick together any more than... And here... <laughs> And here, you don't put in the eraser that Lynn uses when she's coloring. And again, I'll put the lid on in order to get a rolling boil. Uh, if you have a, a real stove in your kitchen at home, you don't probably need to do that. But uh, RV stoves uh, do not have the BTU output of stoves at home. Siri, I say hello Siri. Hi Siri. Siri, you gonna talk to me today? Hello Siri. Siri may be taking the day off. Siri, set the timer for four minutes. Setting. Your timer is set for four minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Mm -hmm. 
And here we have chicken noodle soup with homemade noodles. Mmm, it smells good. It's going to be good. There it is. In the bowl. Chicken noodle soup with homemade noodles. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.